Good morning, everybody. I'm feeling good today. I'm a sore from yesterday's workout. Man, but it changed. It changes how you feel so much. Like after the workout, you just feel like a completely new person. The energy is amazing. And man, today I'm feeling sore. So I have to do yoga, go to the beach, just finish with Jimmy and his kids. And we played Disney music during the sports massage and Frank Sinatra is nice. Man, getting around good energy, like that family, they have great energy. Young kids, five and three, and uh, maybe I shouldn't talk too much about their lives. <laughs> But they bless me and energy getting around good energy is so important that's why i love going to church and you know you sing and yesterday when i sang just being around all that energy and you know you feel the love in the air that sounds kind of lovey-dovey airy fairy hippy dippy but it's really true you feel you feel the emotions of people around you let me parallel park here gonna go to the beach and uh, it's uplifting you know love and happiness and laughter is one of the most healing things you can ever do for yourself oh man i really messed that parallel park up rewind and uh it can really make a difference in your day in your disposition put you in a higher state of consciousness heal your body and uh we shouldn't underestimate that being part of a community and hang out with people that have good sentiments aka energy you know like the principles um having those good emotions is is vital for your health don't underestimate that look into deepak chopra's work um he does a lot of research on that kind of stuff that your health is influenced by your mind and your emotions heavily they're constantly injecting your body with hormones and chemicals um, that either tend towards health and well-being or stress degeneration breakdown inflammation and disease so yeah we're about to go do some yoga and uh from there we're, we're gonna edit more video now this is self-improvement right here this is gonna increase your energy increase your your feeling about yourself and your life period this is gonna cure diseases that you might be accumulating in your body guys this is papaya banana pineapple almonds what else did i put bone broth oh it's so good on your stomach everything in my stomach just feels like it's sparkling and getting cleaned and healed and it's so delicious oh cinnamon sea salt uh it's pink salt um cinnamon pink salt pepper i think that's it oh a banana um this kind of stuff is keeping me going i'm feeling fantastic this is day six of the smoothie only challenge, the liquid only challenge. How am I feeling? Wow, uh, like a new person. My energy has been just so consistent and it hasn't it hasn't dropped and I feel uh, I have so much more time in the day to just put into what I, I care about. My mind is more clear. My mood is better. I don't have mood swings. I don't, I don't, um, get irritated my body feels like it's healing so much faster and my weightlifting is still strong i'm still putting up the same number even more numbers in the gym um this is an amazing thing i recommend everybody try one day smoothie only liquid only three days liquid only just try one day even one meal just try one meal liquid only it's amazing this is uh I'm telling you, if everybody in America drank one smoothie for brec for their breakfast a day, we'd have less chronic disease, we'd have less depression, we'd have less obesity, our medical bills would go down, we'd have less missed days of work. This is medicine, is what I'm saying. Your body feels it, it charges you, it heals you. And, uh, you know, we gotta just remind each other, people are earning diseases every day by not eating this kind of stuff and their body is showing them and one day that grim reaper is going to come and he's going to give you that note about his news to you but if you eat the right stuff it keeps him away and this is the reality of what's happening it seems like oh this guy's just always talking about food 
we have to talk about food. 80% of diseases are being caused by wrong consumption of food nowadays. This is a life or death thing. But it takes 10, 20, 30 years. And then when it comes, people think, oh man, it's such a pity. Wow. Not realizing that we've been poisoning ourselves and we earned that. We got to take responsibility. Uh, I'm not trying to point the finger at anybody or blame or say that that's always the cause. But this is a huge cause of suffering, disease, pain, misery, anxiety, worry, depression, mental, physical. So cheers to this. Cheers to our health. Cheers to making, fulfilling your potential. And cheers to living a longer, stronger life. That's it. Just got done with the beach. But you know what I was thinking yesterday, guys? The world is in such an interesting state when it comes to health and people are getting programmed in certain ways that it makes it so hard to break out. Let's take an example. Um, so if you're born and you're raised eating certain food, you're gonna believe that food is good for you, like processed meat. Like you're gonna, you're gonna believe that certain foods like whole grain bread, like all these things are perfectly fine for you and you might be okay until you turn 25 or 30 but then when you turn that age all of a sudden you start having all these issues and you don't know why you don't draw the conclusion that your lifestyle and what you've been eating for the last 20 years is contributing to you being overweight low energy having allergies food sensitivities chronic fatigue low-grade depression we don't draw the line and then from there, you don't have the education. You don't know how to eat. You literally don't know what to eat. And you're not experimenting with this because you don't even think that it's part of the problem, let alone being on medications. And so a lot of people are stuck in this weird rut and they don't even know why. They don't even know why they're feeling low energy. And even just low energy is like a disease. Trust me, I know. It's, I, I felt it. Having chronic fatigue. Um, you're not living life at its fullest. And you can't really fulfill your, your potential. You can't even really function if you're chronically fatigued. And so that's why we got to spread this simple information. This foundational information. So that you don't have to start depending on all these drugs to make you feel like you can operate in the world. You know, like how many people are depending on coffee, energy drinks, these artificial aids, because they're just not there. Their health isn't there. It's not providing the basic foundation for action. And then we're just pushing all these problems down the road by using cigarettes and stimulants, caffeine, energy drinks, drugs, medications. There's a lot of problems that we have to talk about and draw the line between because food is your medicine. And you're either toxifying your body every day with these foods that you think may even be healthy. And that's the insidious thing. There is so many traps in the world of food even the water that you drink can have lead, mercury, fluoride, bromine, and you might want to kill the messenger because I'm putting all this responsibility on you to learn. But this is actually a good thing. Reframe it in your head as a good thing because once you educate yourself and you actually learn what foods to eat, what foods not to eat, and you clean up the toxicity in your diet, you're going to feel like you've never felt before. And that's my goal, is to give you a different feeling of life through the simple act of just getting things that you never thought were messing you up back in line. That's it. Simple as that. So, um, you know, help spread the message. Share all these videos. I'm going to be making a video on the overview of so many different issues to do with health. That's really the heart. That's really my heart. 
we have to learn the importance of all these things. Because if you don't think it's important, you're not going to learn about it. You're going to think you're going to think you're miserable in life and unfulfilled because of other reasons. So you're trying to work on the wrong problem. Now, first you have to get your exercise, your diet, your sleep in order. And then all of a sudden, fatigue, anxiety, depression, all these things can clear up. Lack of energy, lack of clarity, even hesitancy, indecision, doubt and fear. It can come from a lack of energy. You just feel like you have to conserve yourself. You can't get out there if you don't have energy. Anyways, time to do yoga. B E A beautiful. So this is where we're going to do yoga. You can't see my face. You can't see my face. This is supposed to be a yoga picture, a yoga shot. Ready? And this is when I pose. This is this is my yoga pose, guys. Um, <laughs> that's really what I do. But John, you're saying that food affects me so much. How could that be possible? I eat healthy. It's not my diet that's causing my acne, and my irritability. I eat chicken breast. Chicken breast is healthy. I eat lean turkey, ground turkey. I eat eggs for breakfast. Yeah, but what you don't know is that how did they raise those chickens? How did they raise those turkeys? How did they raise those cows? The yogurt that you ate? What kind of sugars does it have? See, all these things, it's like, there's so many fake health foods. I'm gonna make a whole video on this. Fake health foods. Fake. They're all fake. They're all just lying. That's all they do is lie, 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 get you to buy their product. And they're, they're taking you for fools, F fools. And they think that they can get away with it. And so there's so many things out there that are traps and people think that they're actually really healthy. The the hormones that these animals have you have to buy it natural if you're if you're not if you're getting it with antibiotics drugs growth hormones inside it how can that be healthy guys i have a confession i just cheated i was making the carrots and the beets i boiled it i was making my plantain i was gonna blend it all together and i just looked at that plantain and that plantain's peel was just draping off its shoulder. And my mouth watered and I saw that yellow skin, that yellow flesh. Mm. Mm. Your guy right here couldn't contain himself. I heard the lies in my mind. It's mushy, it's liquid, it's mushy, you're not cheating. It's mushy enough. I ate that whole plantain. I did not blend that plantain. Oh, the sugar, the sweet, the softness. Oh, it was succulent and plump. Mm, I just cheated. Day five, failure. But I feel good. I also had a carrot and a beet boiled. Soft like baby food. But I did blend my mung beans and my lima beans. I was a good boy there. Anyways, what am I gonna do from here? It was a 30 day challenge and I busted on the fifth. Oh, and my stomach feels so settled and nourished and I was feeling a little bit flighty, a little bit spacey, a little bit squirrely, agitated. And now I just feel so still energized, but grounded and calm. So that's an interesting lesson learned, isn't it? Too many fruits, um, not enough grounding, hearty foods like beans, rice, nuts, cooked carrots, cooked beets, cooked squashes, pumpkins, 
sweet potatoes, stuff like that. I'll probably go again. I'm going to go again. But um, I want to come on here and say, where where is this channel going? Where are my goals? I want to be a medicine man. I want to be an acupuncturist. I want to be an herbalist. And I'm going to go to school for that in the middle of the year 2022. Until then, I'm going to buy a house, invest some money, live rent-free, make my investments, get me free food and free living. So I feel good about investing the money into $52,000 acupuncture Chinese medicine school. Now, I'm pretty sure I want to do that. But the other way is just making YouTube videos, learning herbs, because the whole... The whole goal is just to raise consciousness of humanity, to heal people, to get them feeling healthier and charged and, you know, to be honest, I'm just experimenting with so many different ways to raise my own consciousness. I'm doing three hours of yoga a day. Excuse me. I might end up just being a monk, so... I'm either going to go the monk route or the acupuncture school route. Either way, I'm going to keep on making YouTube videos. Because I know for a fact that these herbs, they enhance your body and mind to such an extent that it takes you away from so much discomfort and pain. And I want to be involved. I think that's why I'm leaning more towards being an acupuncturist. I like being involved. I like being with people I want to have a strong tool to be able to help people with and I think working towards the dream of having my own clinic I've visualized this many times it's a very beautiful thing to me where I know everybody who comes in they have teas they have herbs I give them smoothies and I'm seeing a lot of people a day I have parties there we have workshops there about how to cook about how to do meditation and yoga. We work out together. We play instruments and music. So I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna learn how to play uh, the guitar and the Indian version of the piano. It's like an, a miniature organ. And I wanna have people come there. And I wanna have like, uh, like ceremonies where we cook something really healthy like a cacao ceremony and then we play instruments and we dance and we party and you know there will be healthy food and you know it's a tribe it sounds fun I, I love that kind of stuff I love I love it I love it I want to make that a reality and I think once I learn acupuncture Chinese medicine that'll be that'll be when I have the confidence to open up my own place and start marketing and putting everything into it because you know for me it's just what I can see myself having fun doing while contributing to the consciousness of humanity in the world so yeah I'm really feeling that in my heart and uh I just want I just want to accomplish these goals of getting a house renting it out renting out all the rooms getting my house hack on and work on my youtube channel until then massage therapy until then so got one more massage here and then i'm uh, gonna hang out with some friends for christmas and figure out uh what gifts i'm gonna buy for people my clients my friends my family talk tonight